Welcome to my week six presentation. This is Georgina Villasenor Lee, and this presentation will be covering a specific Public Records Act request for a city government agency. So to provide some background on this request, in 2018, the Press Enterprise publicized an article that found a, just one Riverside Public Utilities dispatcher earned $257,000 in overtime. And this was founded through an audit that was conducted. As a result, two administrators in that department ended up leaving, one retired and one left for another agency. So this to me is obviously just poor management. And for $250,000, you could have hired a few staff members. So as a result, we are going to be requesting overtime data. And we want it for a specific fiscal year. We want to know um, overtime basically for each department. Um, we'll take employee names, job titles, regular pay rate, overtime pay rate, and then the total overtime earned by employee. And preferably we want this data in Excel. The City of Riverside allows for individuals to submit Public Records Act requests online. So you'll need to navigate to the city's City Clerk's Office webpage. Click on the Public Records Request button. Then click on the CPRA Request button or link. You will need to create an account and then complete the online request form. Okay, so starting here at the city's main web, web page, riversidecagovernor we will go to the middle under government, click there. You'll see first are the elected officials and then underneath the city departments and we'll go to city clerk. This is the city clerk's office web page. At the bottom, there's a public records request link we will click on. There's a lot of data that's accessible through this portal here. Um, you'll notice that not only can we submit a new request, but at the bottom you can actually look at previously submitted requests as well. But for purposes of this tutorial, we'll go ahead and click on this new request link. You do have to create an account, but I went ahead and created one already. So once we're in, we get to complete this form. It's pretty straightforward. I think the appropriate department that would have this information would be either Human Resources or Finance. We'll go ahead and click Human Resources. I'm sure they will coordinate with Finance to um, gather this data. So the request itself goes here. So we'll ask that they provide data, preferably in Excel. Um, we'll say who earned over time. And we'll request it for the fiscal year 2018-2019. And we will request that they provide employee names. So we can filter it by that. Job titles. Oops. And regular. Right. And 
over fun. Alright. And the tall. One more time. And then for the fiscal year, we know that it starts July 1st, 2019, and ends on June 30th, 2019. Oops. And they offer a variety of methods to deliver this information. And so just for quickness here, we'll select email, and then we get to submit it online. Pretty quick and easy if you know what we're, what you want, what you're looking for. I'm not sure how maybe older generations, how they're able to adapt to, you know, this technology and stuff, or if the city would also allow for paper, more traditional requests, I'm sure they would honor it. Now you know how to submit a Public Records Act request with the City of Riverside. Thanks for checking out my presentation. Have a blessed day.